Do you like tennis? Well, if you do, then you've probably heard of some tennis players being loved and some that are just downright rude. Now, this list is going to have five tennis players that are so rude that people hate them and five that are just the nicest people in the world and that we love. So if you want to know who these players are, grab a seat and let's get started. At number 10, we have Sonia Mirza. She's got a lot of fans in India, so obviously she's probably got one of the biggest followings in tennis. On top of this, she's treated like an A-list celebrity in India. That's right, you can catch her on TV, in ads, and being pictured with the rich and famous around town. All of that is amazing, really. That's super cool and good for her, but this has caused a bit of a problem. Her ego is just insane. Apparently, she's got an attitude the size of Long Island, is rude to her fans, is a snob, and doesn't give anyone who she thinks is below her the time of day. I mean, that's just not nice, is it? We don't see this on the court, but many people have spoken about it off the court. What do you think about people who treat their fans rudely? Next up, Andy Murray. Andy Murray and his tennis career is slowly coming to a close. He's had some injuries that have forced him to miss a lot of court time in recent years, so he's been focused more on his family life which is great. Most people are happy that he is spending so much time with his family now. We all know that he's not the most charismatic guy on tour, so he gets a lot of flack for his personality. He is usually complaining or moaning about something. Now this would make you think that he's in the rude pile, but he's actually a really nice guy. Aside from his personality, he hasn't gotten himself in trouble for anything. He's also a strong family man, is always kind to his fans, does a lot of charity work and is a real sport about, well, everything. What do you think about Andy Murray? We have Nick Kyrgios. If you know tennis, then you would know that Nick Kyrgios was going to be in the rude pile. He definitely brings something to the game. He's young, bold, brash, and volatile. Every single game he plays, you see him overstepping the mark somehow, which is not nice at all. He's been pulled up on a lot of things, but it's something that we just can't bring up up because there's too much. People are getting rather sick and tired of this behavior. Some people try to come to his defense and say that it's his youth, but I think he just needs to have someone who is going to sit him down and talk about his rude behavior. There's just no need for it. What is the rudest thing Nick Kyrgios has done that you know of? At number seven, Roger Federer. Roger Federer is an amazing tennis player. Absolutely fantastic. He's the greatest man to ever play, and some even say he's one of the greatest athletes of all time. On top of this, he's still going strong, even at the age of 36, and winning Grand Slams is just amazing. It really shows how much he wants to succeed. However, I don't think he'd still be around if his fans didn't love him. We know that his fans are going to be with him forever because he's created a real legacy. Wherever he goes, he's got a standing ovation. He's also a real sportsman and and ambassador of the game. On top of this, he's never really been in any kind of controversy after so many years playing the sport. He's always kind, he gives time to fans and the media, and he loves to engage with the crowds. Also, he's big into his charity work. He's definitely a real sweetheart. What do you think about Roger Federer? Now we have Alexander Zarev. Alexander Zarev isn't the most popular amongst fans around the globe. He's another player player who's young, loud, and brash. I think he needs to learn a thing or two from Roger Federer. Yes, fans like to see raw emotion, like give me something to connect with. However, he's taken it too far sometimes. Alexander has abused umpires, fans, tournament officials, and sponsors. I mean, there's no reason for that, you know? On top of this, his usual behavior includes him smashing his racket, which he always gets in trouble for. However, he hasn't stopped. The crowds have also voiced their displeasure with him, but he continues on with his attitude and temper. Have you seen one of his outbursts? Keep watching. We've got the rest of the list to go through and you're going to want to know them all. Now at number five, Eugenie Bouchard. Eugenie Bouchard looks like a sweetheart and is a sweetheart. She's young, beautiful, has fame and riches, and none of it has gone to her head. She's actually very relaxed about everything
clothing, and wants to be looked at like a normal person, and everyone likes that. On top of that, she acts like a normal person as well. I like the fact that she's always smiling, she's happy with her friends and family around, and she's always in good spirits. Also, she does a lot of charity work, and who doesn't like someone who does a lot of charity work? She's also done a lot of stuff for her fans as well. Also, she's been on a date with a super fan when she made a bet with him, and everything has been going well for her in that regard. Do you know about Eugenie Bouchard? Next up, Maria Sharapova. Maria Sharapova won her first Grand Slam many years ago, and she ended up becoming one of the darling women of tennis. She ended up becoming a beautiful athlete and was one of the most well-paid athletes in the world. However, things have changed since then. She was banned for doping, and she said that she didn't realize that the substance was on the banned substance list. Also, a lot of people have said that her attitude just sucks. Apparently, she's stuck up, she thinks she's the best person compared to everyone else, and she's not interested in tennis. She's too busy with her side hustles, and it's made people think that she needs to respect the sport a bit more. What do you think about Maria Sharapova's attitude? Sitting at number three, Petra Kotova. Petra had a hard time when she came into the limelight after winning her first Grand Slam. She was really shy and reserved, but underneath it all, we could see she was a really confident woman who just wanted to show it off to the world. As the years continue to pass, we see more and more of her personality, and we're totally here for it. Yes, she's still shy, but it just makes her so sweet and makes all of us want to hug her. Also, we've seen how she interacts with her fans, and everyone likes it when someone is good to their fans. I mean, when she was injured, so many people were upset about it. And let me tell you, not every player would be getting that kind of reaction. Do you also think Patrick Kotova is a sweetheart? Now we have Bernard Tomic. Bernard Tomic's career hasn't been going so well recently. Also, not a lot of people could care about that. He's another young player who has a lot of attitude and is rude. On top of that, he doesn't give the game the respect it deserves. That's why a lot of fans don't respect him either. Also, he's no stranger to controversy, and we all know how we feel about controversy. Controversy. He's been very vocal about how he only cares about making money, and he doesn't care for the game. When he left Wimbledon in 2017, he told people that he was bored during the match, so he didn't really care. I mean, how rude is that? He ended up talking about how he's going to be sitting around counting his millions. What do you think of this attitude? Next, Serena Williams. Now this one is interesting because there are a lot of mixed views about Serena Williams. Yes, she's had her outburst, but she's also still human at the end of the day. She's also had to deal with a lot of pressure over the years, so obviously she's said and done things that she regrets. However, there aren't a lot of moments like this. Majority of the time, she's just a great person to be around. She also goes out of her way to interact with the media. She's always calm about it as well, which is nice, because I don't know how I would react some days. Overall, she's made our nice list, and I think she can stay there for now. Well, that's the end of this video. What do you think about some of these players? Did any of them surprise you? Do you think anyone else should be added to this list? Also, what do you think about people playing tennis when they disrespect the sport? Let us know down below.